Clear Fork and Galleon meeting on the diamond with a spot in the district finals up for grabs. These teams split during MOAC play, but it was the Tigers who would take an early lead in tournament action. Emily Sedmock with the RBI single right there. Then solid pitching would ensue for a few innings before Galleon got a couple of base runners on freshman starter Matty Wine, causing a Clear Fork pitching change. And the move would not pay off for the Colts. Five Tigers would cross home plate without reliever Matty Poor recording a single out. Here's a two RBI double from Gabby Capel. Two more runs would score, making it 6 0 Galleon. But you already know the top seed isn't going down that easy. Clear Fork would answer right back with four runs of their own in the bottom half of the frame, then tack on another score in the six to make it a 6 5 contest, and the Colts kept the pressure on putting runners on first and second in the bottom of the seventh, but pitcher Madeline Thomas and a stellar Tigers defense would hold on for the one-score victory. What can you say about the poise of your team when Clear Fork came back? They had four runs and then another one uh, that you were able to hold them off. Yeah, I think we were still, we, you know, we try to stay composed, try to stay within ourselves. Just, you know, don't want to try to make plays that we're not, you know, we're not capable of doing. We come in here against a really strong Clear Fork team. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, we just we were hoping to escape. Uh, we got up early and, you know, we were hoping to hold that lead. We we're hoping six is enough. You know, with Clear Fork, you never know if six is enough or whatever that number may be. But uh, it turned out to be that we could, we could hold on to this one. Moving on, uh, I guess, uh, how's that feel to be a part of this team right now? I'm very blessed to have this team, you know. Um, everybody gets along and it's been a good, it's been a good season. Galleon now advances to their second straight district final, where they'll face second-seeded Crestview for the Lexington Championship. For the OH Report, my name's Brian Skoronsky.